What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back, and after a little bit of practice, I have figured out the secrets of combat. So the first, of course, is that I need to flick the stick when I go to parry. If I hold the stick, it'll it'll basically do a block instead, like that. And that's where I was messing up. I need to flick the stick and hit X at the same time. And by doing that, I'm able to uh, basically slice the enemy up without any issue. I wasn't doing that before. I've also started using my X and my Y a lot more because I can just... Oh, I missed that. Um, as opposed to trying to free aim everything, I can use the left stick to just adjust my angle slightly and use that to hit the, the special spot that I need to get that. And then for these things, I don't need to worry what direction. I just need to aim. I need to just, you know, point it at the mech. I was worried, like, well, is this a kick that's coming down? Is it a kick that's going up? You know, I was so worried about the direction that I was being attacked from that I, I stopped worrying about actually just hitting the thing. Um, and so that's it. I gotta, I gotta flick the stick just in the direction of the mech. And by doing that, I'm able to get off uh, parries against the mech. Like that. Anyway, point is, feeling much, much more adept at the combat now. I mean, I'm not getting anything crazy here, but you know, it's a new record. Just want to put that out there. But, yeah, so I think we're good. I think the combat has clicked. The, the two things I was missing there were the, you know, basically getting off the parry properly. And now that I understand, now we are ready to continue. So not too bad. Took took four episodes before everything really got clicked, but we're we're in a good spot now. I feel like I should just be breaking everything I see. Greetings, cyborg. Show yourself. the meaning of life. Why are we here? I am here to kill you. <laughs> Tried to hit it with a Turing test. That's it? Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate! Alright, Robo Jaguar. Ooh. 
Domination complete. <laughs> So bad. I'm dead, I think. You will die. For the full heal. Are we both here only to fight then? Demonstrate the extent of your power. Quick grenade tosses, okay. Ah, damn, that crap got me. Does it hurt? Use your intellect, evade my blows. You will die. Foolish. Help me. It's going pretty good. So the lock on more than than like a bullshit. Oh, shit. Oh, no, come on, I parried that. Oh, no, there it goes one of my heels. Too bad, I'll take a B. 
It's the highest score I've gotten so far. Sub weapon tutorial is now playable. All right. Oh, pretty good. I mean, he he beat me the the very first fight. That was a little, little iffy. Um, but yeah, after that, it like I said, everything's clicking. Feels good. Feels good to have a a high combat game, a high skill based combat game. You will no doubt come across several different weapons in your missions. Best we went over their basic use. Pick up the rocket launcher in front of you. You can equip any weapons you acquire by selecting them in the sub-weapon screen. Of course, sub-weapons have a limited number of uses, you know. In this tutorial, it has unlimited ammunition, but do not expect this out on the field. You will want to save them for just the right time, I suspect. Try all the sub-weapons you come across. You find that each has its own unique properties. Now, use these weapons to reach the goal point. These are also just rocket launchers. So if I hold, I aim. If I tap, it's a quick shot. Cool, 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 cool. Not really working that well for me. Just stay here and shoot this. Haha, <laughs> excellent! Most impressive riding. Your new enhancements are quite something, if I do say so much. No. 
No! Oh, it was a tap Y, not a hold Y. It's been so long since I've experienced, like, QTEs. Which actually, you know, it's not... It's not too bad here. I don't, like... I think because of, like, how high action this game already is, like... Uh, a small QTE here and there to, like, you know... Basically... Finish stabbing the sword through or something. Makes sense. Like, I don't mind it as much. as usually QTEs on my like, own. There's more RPGs around here that I can get. Got it, definitely. Yep. There we go. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Uh -huh. Surface to air homing. We got another surface to air homing. combo this to, I don't know. I don't know if I was supposed to get a lock on with those or not, but Ow. There you little shit. Alright, there we go. Trigger. Okay, it's means sprinting across the rockets. No more rotor blade for you. Fall from the sky. Another bee. about waste you thank you for the energy Fight. 
vulture wannabe. So that's where they're holed up. Some kind of electronic lock on the gate. Most likely it opens only if you have the right ID data stored in your left hand. Perhaps you could find a cyborg with access and uh, I keep forgetting the left hands. You see any cyborgs around here, Doc? Why not double back? Check the vehicle route again. You know, back at the entrance to the old city. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you can hitch a ride. Most likely platoon commanders carry correct ID data for the gate. Use enhanced mode to figure out who to hit. Handy ID data. Enemy sighted! What? No, no, I got it. I just said hollow chip. I picked up the hollow chip. Isn't that it? Maybe I need to go up and then go into this mode and aim specifically at the hand. That's probably what I gotta do. Oh well. We can cut through the door, which is just as cool. So anyway, let's wrap things up here. We obviously have more to this mission. Um, yeah, I'll stay tuned. This is fun. I'm glad combat finally clicked. Took a couple episodes, but not too shabby. Either way, I'll catch you all soon with more.